Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night question and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question I am answering is, what's in the box in regards to this small shrink wrap package that I received from Ulysses Spiel? Thank you for that, Ulysses Spiel. This is the Ship of Stone expansion for the Adventuria Adventure card game. This is a game that's been on the market since 2016, but I didn't discover until this last year, and I have fallen in love, as has my wife and my regular game group. The Adventuria Adventure card game is, in my opinion, the best card-based fantasy adventure game out there, and this is one of many expansions for it. Now, this one's kind of special. So this expansion, Ship of Stone, bridges two other expansions. So you are expected to have played Forest of No Return and Ship of Lost Souls. Once you've completed both of those expansions and adventure stories, then you play Ship of Stone. Now, I have played both of those, but obviously haven't had a chance to check this out yet. So join me as I open up this box for the first time. So here you have my copy of Ship of Stone. All I've done is cut the shrink off. You can see the back here that kind of gives you a heads up what you're getting. So unlike most adventure expansions, there won't be a hero in this one. Almost every expansion comes with a new hero. There's no new hero in this particular set. It's just a new adventure. So what I'm expecting is a bunch of cards in a booklet, which fits, because what else would you have in a fall expansion? So we have Ship of Stone. We are looking at an expert adventure. Uh-oh, a tough one. So this is an expert adventure based on the Dark Eye Adventure of the same name. So this is similar to previous um, Adventuri expansions, they are based on adventures from the Dark Eye, which is Germany's most popular role-playing game. So we have an expert adventure. Please note the Ship of Stones comes with very complex special rules that could be overwhelming for beginners. They suggest you play the other two adventures, which makes sense. So I'm going to go through this quick so we don't spoil anything. There's a lot of story here. We're looking at it. It jumps right into it. So I think we have one adventure here, and that's it. So unlike other adventures for Adventuria, most of these boxes have contained two to four adventures, usually one to three short adventures and one long one. In this particular case, you've got one adventure only with something called the obstacle rule, illusionary henchmen, and what's going on here, and the end. So one adventure only. So this better be pretty good. Though with everything else we played from Adventuria, I'm looking forward to it. I expect it to be good. So, fair warning, at this point, I am going to be going through the cards quickly. I'm not going to read out all the text. But you may consider this spoilers. You may just want to jump to my final thoughts. Personally, I play Adventure, and I don't think knowing which henchmen are going to come up ruins the game in any way. So here we have the Ship of Lost Stoles. We have four different difficulties. So there's only the one adventure, and you have your four difficulties. And then we have a bunch of special rules cards, which I am going to skip through. These are the ones I don't want to see. Then we have our first lieutenant, which I'm going to skip through quickly. We have multiple lieutenants. So we have four different lieutenants to face. We've got special rules for something about kobolds. And then we get into what I'm most curious about. So one of the best things about adventure is every time you buy an expansion, you get new henchmen cards like these. Well, these get mixed in with every henchman you own. So for example, this is a biting barracuda, or sorry, barb Barbacuda, and it has the Animal C keyword. Well, now that I own this card, if I mix it in with the rest of my cards and I go back and I play Ship of Lost Souls, well, that has you make a henchman deck filled with all the Animal Cs you have. So these Biting Barracuda could show up in my previous adventures. It's something I love about the game. So we have a new Animal C, and that's it. There's one new henchman. Well, we're going to keep these cards in order in case it matters. Uh, we now have Cobalt Compulsions. We have a number of these. Number of Cobalt Compulsions. Um, if you prefer to use health trackers, we have health trackers for the two heroes. So the original expansions, Ship of Lost Souls and Forest No Return, came with big plastic cardboard wheels to track your health. Some players didn't like those and preferred to track their health uh, poker style. So this would be 45 health. But we now have health cards for those new characters. Then we've got a new illusion, a number of illusions. They might be the same. We have illusions of different colors. We have all kinds of illusions. Then we have some new cards. This is um, for deck building, possibly. They give you new cards. 
This is... Okay, so... Replacement or new adventure card. So only one new henchman in this entire thing. So if you are looking for an expansion just to get new henchmen, this wouldn't be a good one. Uh, and then we have a bunch of cards, which I have to assume are for deck building, because these are the unique cards. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. These are these are the cards that anyone can use for the two characters that were in. This would be the character from Forest No Return, uh, Hilbert of Awen. And I apologize, I totally forget her name, but these would be the cards for the Thorvalian Warrior. Sorry, I get that's actually a Hilbert of Awen card. So these are cards that anyone can use to build their deck. So this is something I always appreciate because one of the problems with Aventuria is, is if you want to customize your own deck, you need to cannibalize another hero's deck. Well, this stops you from having to do that. So you can have someone still play the Hilbert of Awen deck, but then take the Animal Shape card, which honestly is the best card I've played in this entire game because it's plus two to hit and does 2d6 plus two damage. It's fantastic. You could add this to a different character's deck. No, it is a liturgical chant, though, so you have to have a character that can only use those. Oh, that's the other thing, too, is these are also multiple copies of these cards, so you could customize Hilbert's deck to have two copies of this, which is something I may do. So that's it. That's it. That's what you get in Aventuria Ship of Stone. There you got it. Small box expansion for Aventuria. Couple surprises here for me. Um, for one, it's one adventure, one expert level adventure, which I've got to say, based on how thick that book is, does look more complicated than anything else I've personally seen in Adventuria. No new hero, no short act, no long act. As far as I can tell, it's just one adventure. It didn't even seem to be broken into acts, so it might just be one long act. Um, one new henchman only, which is surprising. I was hoping for a bunch of new henchmen. Every time I open anything Adventuria, I am hoping for more henchmen that I can mix into the rest of my games to make more interesting. But I do appreciate there's at least one there. A whole ton of specialized cards that are unique to this adventure, which makes perfect sense. As well as copies of the cards for the heroes in the two expansions this bridge is to be used when deck building. I gotta say, if you own Forest No Return and you own Ship of Lost Souls, to me this seems like a, a must-have. Pick it up. Assuming you enjoyed them. You're going to pick this up to get a new story to tell with those characters that bridges those two adventures together. Now, if you don't plan on playing this, if you're just looking for new henchmen and new cards, I can't see this being the best thing to go run out and go purchase. Um, this is only for people, in my opinion, who have played the two adventures. One of the things I will note, you might want to open this up first before you play through those adventures, especially if you don't like the health wheels and prefer to track your health with cards because those are in there. Plus, there's some cards you may want to use to customize your deck. Well, that's it for my look at the Ship of Stone expansion for Adventuria, the adventure card game. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, including Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and most of the social medias. You can also find me at our webpage, tabletopbellhop.com, where you can find lots of gaming content. If you dug this video and appreciate the content we produce, it would be awesome if you supported us through patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop so I can finally add a third camera and start showing off close-up views as well as a table view when doing these unboxings. Thank you for joining me. Good night and game on.